the CBA discussions have not been held up in any way based on revenue sharing. We've um, filled the Players Association in on exactly where our plan stands. In fact, we had told them earlier in the week that one of the reasons we needed to take a break yesterday evening was because the planning committee led by Wisk Wick Grousebeck was convening a discussion precisely on some of the remaining issues in revenue sharing. But in no way has the, have the revenue sharing discussions held up collective bargaining. I think obviously revenue sharing is an agreement among our owners, and so we are in complete control of that process as opposed to collective bargaining, which depends on the other side. I will note, though, that a few of our owners remarked after the robust revenue sharing discussion last night that we might want the assistance of the federal mediator for our own revenue sharing discussions as well. Brian Mulder from the Associated Press. I don't know if this falls under the, the bargaining, so forgive me if it does, but you and David have kind of said 82 games is going to be tough to do, but there seems to be so much speculation still that it's really doable. Can you answer that at all? I can't. It, does that depend on how soon this happens? I mean, I, yes. I mean, I think that's a truism. It's a function of the calendar, and part of the issue is with um, – the modern arenas now that become these, in, es in essence, town halls in many of our major cities, Madison Squ Square Garden would fall in that category, United Center, Staples Center, they get booked up. I mean, there just aren't many available dates. And I'm sure, as all of you saw, if you look at the arena calendars, when we released the first two weeks of the season, almost instantaneously those dates got filled with major concerts. And so it's really a function of finding building dates, and there are also network dates as well. I mean, there's no doubt that um, once we come to an agreement with the Players Association, we will have a common interest in um, putting together as most complete a schedule as possible. Um, and whether or not an 82-game schedule is still possible is unclear to me. I mean, as, as David has said previously, we've just lost part of the calendar, and I think that's part of the pressure on both sides. I don't think it required these sessions or this mediator to create a sense of urgency among both the owners and the players, for that matter, I'm sure they'd say the same thing. Everybody understands what's at stake. We all know that we've already lost a portion of the season based simply on the calendar. And so, you know, coming out of the owners' meeting today, not even discussing what's going on over at the Sheridan, owners want to play. At the same time, they want to ensure that we accomplish what we set out to accomplish in a new collective bargaining agreement. So it's a balance.